Hi, Dorian. I am madly searching for my car keys. Well, uh, where, where'd you leave them? If I knew that, I would be long gone. <laughs> where are you going? Yeah, I, I can give you a ride. That's really sweet of you, Cole, but luckily... Ta-da! I keep a spare for emergencies. This is an emergency? No. No, everything's just fine. So, <clears throat> would you happen to know where I could find Langston? Why do you need to find Langston? I'm just surprised that she's not here with you. How about a little snack? The two of you seem to be tied at the hips these days, and uh, I... Oh, I'm also uh, wondering whether she's going to be joining us for dinner again tonight. No, um, actually, she's at Marco's house having dinner with his parents. Oh, I see. That's where she is now? Uh, no, actually, she went home to change first. That's a big deal. Meeting the parents? Has Marco met her parents? No one's met her parents. Yeah, I know. Even you, Star, after all the time you've known her? Well, they travel a lot. It can't be easy for her, living on her own. Mm, no, she lives with her maid. Who no one's ever seen. Yeah, but you can tell that she lives there. I mean, the place is spotless. Plus, Langston seems to be okay with it. No, she's not okay with it. Well, she's not okay with talking about it, but... Actually, she did get mad when Marco said that her parents leave her alone too much. Which is the truth. Right, but look, her, her parents wanted to send her away to boarding school when they were away, but she wanted to stay here, so it's her choice. Really? Yes, really. Is there something that you know that I don't? All I know is what you've told me, that uh, her parents are away a lot of the time. Aunt Dorian, you know something more. Just admit it. I know that she is much too young to be living on her own. Yeah, but she's handling it fine. I know her parents call her all the time. I see. And you've spoken to them? Well, I've been there when they call. Recently? Yeah, they call her all the time. So she tells you. And Dorian, I've been there when she's gotten calls from them. Right. So, uh, any idea where your mother is? Because I want to let her know I'm going to be going out for a while. Actually, she, she might be in court with my dad. I, I wonder if the judge made a decision about my brother yet. Poor kid. At least he has parents. Too many of them. Don't forget to tell your mother that I'm going out, and if you need anything, call the cell. Exactly. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. See ya. Okay, so what's up with your aunt? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in this fridge but fruit and vegetables. What's with all the questions about Langston? Well, Langston's been over here a lot with me lately, and she likes her. Plus, my aunt is the nosiest person in the world. Are you hungry? Yeah, I could eat. Okay. Well, I'm starving, so I think we should order from someplace. <laughs> Let's see. There is Thai food, <laughs> Italian food, American. Hey, hey, you know what? I got a better idea. Hey, Jennifer, can you uh, grate the cheese for me, please? Surely. <laughs> Oh, so I didn't tell you. Marco asked me what Langston's favorite flower was. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Is that a hint? No. <laughs> I'm just saying. He seems really in Has he said anything? He's a guy. He's not going to say anything, especially not to me. Oh, well, why not? Because I'm a guy. And guys, we, we just don't talk about things like that. Well, what do you think about it? About Langston and Marco? Yeah. Well, they're good together. Well, I think that they're great together. I just hope you think so, too. Yeah, he does. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Why? Because I want my best friend to be as happy as I am. On the next One Life to Live, 
I don't think a judge makes a more important decision than awarding custody. Welcome to Capricorn. Hey, in the house. Hey. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet.